Yes, it was certainly a very surreal experience in May 2020 to receive an email from Robbie Seeker, the um, VP of Health at the Timberwolves. Um, you know, there were crazy things happening every day during the pandemic, but we certainly did not expect to be receiving an email from the NBA. Mm -hmm. So Robbie Seeker had reached out to us because he like us, he recognized that very early on there was going to be a need for frequent repeat testing and that, you know, having swabs on a daily basis was just, especially at this time, you know, the only swabs that were available were nasopharyngeal swabs. So having those even just once a week was not going to be a pleasant experience, wasn't going to encourage people to get testing. So while we had already shown the potential for SARS-CoV-2 det detection in saliva. He had been doing his research and he had seen that. So he came to us because he also wanted to see if there was a way that we could take what we had already found with saliva. And the NDA, um, much like us, was actually really focused on finding testing methods that could be made to be um, a lot less expensive, a lot more accessible to the general public. And so we actually told them that we were already looking at a way of taking the saliva sample, how to process it very cheaply in an effort to drive down testing costs. So we found that we already, you know, we already had this, um, so we found that we already had this, so we found that we already shared these ideals and this is what really drove the partnership. So in the end, the National Basketball Association um, gave us a sponsored research agreement for $500,000 and that was to continue to develop Saliva Direct. So it really supported our staff during this process. It supported the purchasing of the equipment and the reagents to do so. And it supported what we needed to do to take this idea, develop it into a test and get an FDA emergency use authorization for it in the end. So we at the NBA also came in to play with this, is that they were still having their routine clinical diagnostic testing. So when the players were at home um, training for the playoffs, they were having a, a nasal swab, but they were also collecting a saliva sample for us and sending that to us at our lab to test just to see if we could further validate this along traditional diagnostic testing. Once they got to the bubble, the same thing happened. So in the bubble, the players were receiving their clinical diagnostic test, which was a paired anterior narrow swab, so one of the shallow nasal swabs, paired with an oral swab into the same tube. That was sent off to a diagnostic lab for their formal testing. But again, the NBA players, the staff, they were volunteering to be part of our research study and they were willingly giving us saliva samples, sending them back to the lab so that we could compare them to their clinical diagnostic testing just to see how Saliva Direct would fare out in the field. Um, so it was really just with their assistance that really helped to drive this development and help to produce a test that could make um, testing more accessible to the local communities.